the Dublin Steeplechase is next. It's a Grade One over two miles and one furlong. And at the top, they've got Corletto Pertico for Darren Thompson, Fondmore, David Hooley, Ozzy Putra, David Robertson, the King, Joshua Sullivan, Toot and Carmen, Kevin Meanham, One Lip, Darren Thompson, Weary Willie, Kevin Meanham, Alien Invasion, Leon van Rinsburg, Angel of Darkness, Paul Rhodes, Fabulous Prospect, David Hooley, Licinia Stalina, Craig Beckwith, Matisse de Barwi, David Robertson, The Smiler, Joshua Sutherland, and Time and Eternity for Leon van Rensburg. So 14 then in this grade one. That points to the Queen Mother next week. And away we go. Making their way towards the first of the fences in this one. And they've got 11 of them to take. And they get to the first one. And they're all safely over the first one with Fabulous Prospect, just a little bit detached from the others, but pulling for its head out of the lead is Licinia Stalina, who likes to go off into the lead. It's wide on the track, so it's going to do with getting across to the fence, or he's going to be giving away quite a bit of ground. They race up the home straight for the first time, then past the big crowd, and they'll pass the winning post shortly, and then they'll swing out on a full circuit of the track. And Licinia Stellina is the leader from Tutankhamen in second. And down on his near side on the near rail is the Smiler in the black and the red hoops. Probably just about showing in third place. One nip though is quite well processed. as well as they get over that ditch. That was fence number two. And then all over the first two successfully with Licinia Stellina leading Tutankhamen. Those two are a good four lengths clear of the rest of them as they get over the third. And the main body of the field are headed by Time and Eternity now in the dark blue jacket with a yellow cap. Then there's a line of about four of them with One Lip and the King and Aussie Putra. Matisse de Bar, which table match that one, is also in that little line. And Angel of Darkness joining them as well as they get over the fourth. Good jump on the inside by the Smiler. I've seen that one get up into a more prominent position. And Corletto Pertico has just dropped to the back. So they're already. Racing down the back straight, and this is fence number five of the 11. And they're all safely over that one with Lassinia Stellina having the lead by about half a length to Toot and Carmen in second, gap of three, then to Time and Eternity in third as they get to this ditch. Well, that one a good jump by Matisse de Bar, who's moving into fourth. Then comes the King and One Lip and Angel of Darkness in the yellow jacket. After that one, the second Joshua Sutherland walks the Smiler with Fabulous Prospect in the purple jacket next, and then Corletto Pertico making a bit of ground. Weary Willie is towards the back, and a line of three at the back at the moment as they take fence number seven were Fondmort, Aussie Putra and Alien Invasion but they're already racing down then to the fourth from home and it's Lucinia Stellina on the inside of Tutankhamen. Tutankhamen out jumped Lucinia Stellina there and has now gone on by a length or so. The Smiler moving through into third. Time and eternity looks to be going well in fourth. Then Matisse de Barbie and the King. Alien Invasion is running on. Fondmort still seems to be going well. So does One Lip and Fabulous Prospect. Corletto Pertico just been given the hurry up as they race down towards the final three fences then. And over the third last, that's the final ditch. And Lucinia Stellina has jumped back into the lead. Lucinia Stellina by half a length again now from the Smiler who's gone second. Then comes Time and Eternity and the King. Fondmort is next to and Carmen has just gone out like a light and dropped right out of it as they get over the second last. And it's Lucinia Stellina and the Smiler as they swing for home. Then Lucinia Stellina and the Smiler being chased now by Fondmort, the King. Alien Invasion. Time and Eternity. Here comes Corletto Pertico round the outside. Matisse de Barwi is still there. One lips trying to run on. But they race down towards the final fence. And it's Fon Mort and Lucinia Stellina together. Over the final fence they go. They're lancing in. There's nothing between them. In between the two of them, the Smiler's beginning to get going. Lucinia Stellina's trying to hold on. The Smiler's going now with a challenge. There's still a furlong to race. And it's Lucinia Stellina in the lead. The Smiler's in second and getting closer with every stride. Back in third is the King. And now the Smiler begins to take it up. But here comes the King on the outside. There's only three way line as they come towards the line now. Three in a line. It's going to be just the Smiler, I think. The Smiler's just in front. As they flash past the post, it's the Smiler who just takes it. From Lucinia Stellina and the King and Fondmort and Corletto Pertico and one lip and alien invasion. And all the way back to Toot and Carmen, who dropped right out of it after being in the lead. But the Smiler took its time to wear down Lucinia Stellina, but did so eventually and takes it. And the Smiler, the winner for Joshua Sutherland. Lucinia Stellina, Craig Beckwith was second. The King, Joshua Sutherland, was third. Fondmort for David Healy, fourth. And Matisse de Barwi for David Robertson, was fifth.